Hello. So I wanted to make a quick video about the upcoming banners because um, there is a lot you can do wrong. So let's talk about it. Who should you actually pull for? Um, looking at the four stars, uh, Jing Yuan has the by far best four star characters on his banner, but we will come to that later as well. So currently, if you want to clear the content, the memory of chaos, you need a second healer. So if you don't have one and you don't want to wait for Bailu or wait for someone else to come, um, you need Luocha, you need to save for him if you want to get the content as soon as possible and you don't have a second healer, which is only Bailu or a heavily invested March as example, can fit the role. Or a Chephart as example can also fit the role. He's not a healer. But he basically does the same. So, but if you don't have Chapart and you don't have Bailu, you kinda need him. And then the other ones are not even an option. You just need him. You can still go for them, but you need enough um, resources to get him safe if you are lacking defensive options. So, but this video is not about pulling Lodge. Yeah? This video is about who do you go for if you don't have the healer problem. So, let's start. Uh, not that one. That one. So, the concept of this video is um, that everything is around Memory of Chaos. Because it's the only hard content in the game. And it's the, the only content in the game that has rewards which are going away basically like if if you don't clear it now it will at some point go away and you will never get these resources back so you want to clear this as soon as possible as far as you can and that's what this video is about um, the current meta is that you have in each team one tank one healer one dps if possible a five star they just do way more damage than the most four stars it's that simple and one support or breaker, as example, um, Ting Yun or Bronya, or also a Su Sheng can work uh, because she breaks a lot, or Asta, Pella, those are all very, very good options. Exactly. So let's go to the memory of chaos. Um, these are the current flaws and yeah, you can see that in most flaws, in I think every floor, there is one element that beats both enemies. So if you want to get this done, you kind of need this one element in this floor, in this half, to actually beat it. Silver Wolf can uh, also solve this problem without having this element. But uh, we, we will go to the calculations later. Um, so what you want in every half is that your main DPS, like this one DPS that you have in your team, he has to break both characters. Like both bosses have to be broken by your one DPS. And then you want the this, this support to help the one DPS or you want a breaker in the support role that also helps him break. But you still want the main DPS to have the right element to break this boss. That's what everything is about. So let's start with my account, actually. I did the whole calculation. So I am having uh, invested Su Sheng, but she is only a breaker. She is not really doing damage. So she does not count as main DPS. I have Sila, she counts as main DPS. And I have Jing Yuan, he counts as main DPS. So. The calculation is made for Silver Wolf. So um, if I add a Silver Wolf to my account, I'm saving four big problems. And um, as example, if I would do the same with Blade, it would be only two problems I solve or, or three, like that's a different calculation. But yes, Silver Wolf has by far the most value for this one. Let me actually check. I have it somewhere. Yeah, that one. Yeah, so if, if I would in invest into a blade, I would solve two two problems, two big problems that would stop me clearing it 
sooner or later I would solve with Blade, while with Silver Wolf I'm already solving more than four problems. And it's very important that you look at um, the problems you currently have. So as example, when 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 I go here, um, I can break those two bosses here with Sushing, but I have the problem that my DPS cannot break both. Like I I can play either Sila or Jing Yuan, and both will not break the other side. That's why here is a a problem. Even if you have Silver Wolf, you still have this problem. Um, but you can play um, Sila and Silver Wolf in the first half and basically um, make them together work so you you get with, with as example Bailu and Trailblazer if you put them here because they already have the weaknesses Silver Wolf will actually go and put quantum weakness on this boss and your Sila will just completely destroy it with the debuffs from Silver Wolf. That's why here is a plus one because she completely solves the the, the issue of not breaking this, this this boss with your main DPS. While in this half you still have the same problem. That's why here is a question mark. The question mark basically means that you still have a problem in this half. Two question marks mean a pretty big problem because um, yeah, Chin, Chin Yuan will just not break this half. But Su Sheng can, so the so I don't have three question marks. I, I I only have two question marks because Su Sheng helps a bit with it. Exactly, and the green number here uh, is for the blade calculation. It doesn't matter for the beginning now. So yeah, you can see that Silver Wolf will help here a lot, and here as well. Like these three 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 elements, we just don't have. So we have to go into this half, go with double quantum, with Silver Wolf plus Sila, and then we have to add a healer. Let's say we add uh, Bailu, and then we add a Fire Dray Blazer. So now the problem is that um, our Bailu can still steal the, the debuff from our quantum units, so not every time um, this boss will get debuffed by by Silver Wolf, but because it's three units and only one unit is not quantum, like the the fire unit doesn't matter because the boss already has fire. So what what matters here is the two quantum units and the one healer, and the chances are two in three that the quantum actually like triggers for the weakness and you're gonna destroy this boss if it just triggers right. So the theoretical value is not plus one, it's only plus 0 0.66. You can redo the run in theory as often as you want, so if you play a lot, you could argue a plus one there, just redoing the run until you get it done. Like, <laughs> it's that simple. So Silver Wolf, Already with the plus 0 0.66 is really really OP compared to as example blade. So yeah, it just shows how strong Silver Wolf really is. Uh, and this half is just not the problem because it's double double lightning and Chin Yuan will just completely destroy everything here. Um, then we have this half, like here you're gonna play Sealy and have no problem, and this half is the problem half and this one you can solve just by playing uh, by playing Sushing and and your your silver wolf Sushing, silver wolf and Ching Yuan and then a uh, cryo or a physical unit uh, you need a healer so it's a Nat Natasha actually so you play Sushang, Natasha, silver wolf and Jin Yuan, and because Jing Yuan has the only element that is not already on the boss, you will always trigger the weakness break for the lightning, and then Jin Yuan will just completely destroy this guy, and afterwards he will also destroy this guy. So Silver Wolf basically completely carries this half, which is really, really great. Like this here would have been a huge problem if you don't have Silver Wolf. And as example, a blade cannot solve this problem. That's why Silver Wolf is so, so fucking good.
because she just solves such problems that look really difficult, but she can handle it alone, basically. If you have two DPS that you can use, of course. Um, yeah, and the calculation just goes goes on for, for, for every stage. Like here, even with Silver Wolf, you cannot solve this problem that you can't break this thing. You just can't, like you can solve this problem with Silver Wolf that you cannot break this, but with playing the right comp with Sealy and Silver Wolf, you can break it and have no problem here, but you will always have this problem. There's no way to solve it. So as example, you could now go and solve it with investing into Dunhang as example, or your um, play, play Su Sheng maybe in this half. Like you don't need her here, right? Because you're playing double quantum, so she can do a pretty good job here, but she will not be enough to, to have an easy, a, a easy half here. It will be quite difficult because you also want to play Qin Yuan for the first boss. So you have like Qin Yuan plus Su Sheng and then down, down here, Chen Yuan is just not good, so there is a problem, which you can solve later with pulling Blade afterwards. That's why Blade is very good and the plus one in this whole thing. Um, yeah, and this half is just not a problem if you already have those two characters. And then I also did the calculation because it's my main account. I wanted to know um, if I should pull Blade after Silver Wolf or if I should pull the upcoming Lightning DPS. And it's clearly Blade because there are more chambers that have double um, that have double wind as their element. And yeah, Blade is just better than the Lightning unit coming. Uh, not Lightning. Yeah. Oh, the yellow one. You know it. So. What else do we have? Um, I did this, the same calculations for uh, having Sila and not having uh, Electro unit yet. And here you can, like I did the whole calculations, I'm not gonna go o o over it, but Silver Wolf, Blade and Ching Yuan have about the same value. So what you clearly should do, should you, you should pull for the four star characters on the Ching Yuan banner. Uh, like Ting Yun as example and Su Sheng and if if you get them like you can go for the character you like more you could go for Ching or you could go for Silver Wolf or Blade it really doesn't matter um, yeah they all have about the same value Silver Wolf is a bit better and Silver Wolf is cheaper because you don't need crit so yeah there is an argument to actually go for Silver Wolf instead of the others then I did the same, calcul the same calculation for having Ching Yuan and uh, physical character. And it's the same, like the value is about the same. Silver Wolf is a bit cheaper, so you should go for Silver Wolf in theory. Uh, yeah. And then that's it for the accounts I calculated. So now what, what happens if you actually have nothing, okay? then let me just demonstrate to you what you should do. Like, let's say you have absolutely nothing, you have two healers, so it's relevant, but besides two healers, you have nothing. So what you now want to do is you clearly want to pull for the four stars on the on the Ching Yuan banner, because uh, Su Sheng and Ting Yuan are just completely insane. So let's say you, like, when, when you have nothing, you have done hang, right? because he is free and Dunning is really good. So now you have to calculate what halves are not a problem. So Dunning clears this half, Dunning clears this half, and Dunning clears this half. That's already nice. Then you have Su Sheng. Su Sheng clears this half, Su Sheng clears this half, and that's about it. Okay, let's see. And then you should go for one lightning unit because as you can see this half has lightning this half has double lightning that's already two halves and then we have two halves with fire as well uh, actually three we have one two three halves with double fire so having a fire dps would really really be nice so let's say you invest into uh, asta a, a lot but she's a breaker she's not a dps that kind of sucks um, let's not calculate with Asta. like if if you have hook Hook is probably good because he just clears three of those chambers really easily. 
And also who is really, really good here is of course a frost unit. Um, Herta is shit, so you can't take her, but if you have the five star frost guy, the frost boy, no idea what his name is, you could um, cross those three chambers. No, not that uh, you can't put him in both, so you could clear two chambers easily. But let's let's go with um, Servile, because you should pull for the current banner until you get Sushang and Tingyun. And now you either got Qingyuan or you didn't get him. Um, but in any case, you can now invest into one lightning unit, um, Servile or Qingyuan, and then you can cross the lightning ones. And then you can see you're having less and less of problems. like. This half you can maybe get through with Asta and Fire Drill Blazer just because they are both fire and break this thing really, really good. Uh, so this should be a half that is doable. So the real problem, our real issue is this here. Let's not do this, let's, let's do this. This is our real problem right now, right? Like here it's the same, like this half is doable. This half is doable because of double fire. You can just play Fire Trailblazer and Asta, right? And then this should be doable. It's, it's not nice. Like here you can also play Dunhang. So you, and then you, you put in a, a healer and you should be fine. But what do you do about this half? Okay, like you can put Sushang here. And then what, what now? Like you put Sushang here and then you have to put the lightning unit, I guess. So you put Serval or Qingyuan here. And then you already have only one breaker instead of two, but it's doable. Like that just shows that if if you clear the go for the normal path, investing into Sushang, Dunhang, and then one lightning unit, like there is not a a really hard chamber. Like this is the hardest chamber probably. And this is always also also very doable, as I just calculated. Yeah, and that's how you have to calculate through your whole account and see where you have the most problems, and then you can solve those problems with pulling the right characters and investing to the right characters, right? This is not really just a pull guide, this is just a guide how to actually play the game. Yeah, I hope that helped uh, the one or other person and Good luck on your pulse. Have a nice day.